Levy and Nicole, they've got three kids, and they bought a two flat in Oak Park, and they need my help. They know what they want, but they're not really great with the design. They have an architect, but they need more. They want me to make it into what I would do if it was my own. What is that? That used to be on the second floor. It's an original. Have you heard of pier mirrors? No. So that's what it's called. This was like the old mirror that would be at the entry, yep. typically. This is old school, but I know this is gorgeous and I know we want to use that. Yes. Okay. Good. This is the kitchen area here. In a family room. Dining, yeah. Family, dining. So yeah. Kitchen. Right. But we're going to have a study here, a bathroom, and then the Powder foyer. room? Yeah. So the basement's gonna have that um, additional bedroom mm -hmm. full bath, right? Yes. yes. I need to figure out though this kitchen. So there's gonna be a wall right here. I'm putting a wall here, so that's closing this off. That's not ideal. There's a better way to do this. But what I would do is I would give you a bigger island. Bigger island. Of course we know we need the study mm -hmm. closed off. What's this space look like to you? We were thinking like an old fashioned dinette. So there's the stairs here. It goes outside, there's the mud room. Can I take this wall and give you a really cool built-in wall? Yeah. Yeah. Your family room's the big deal. Yeah. So the stairs are gonna be right here. This is so tiny. Your sofa would be like right here. Right. This is how close you would be to every, this is all you got. It's tight. Is any of this submitted to the building department? Yeah, this is all approved. Can, can I reimagine this? Yes. Yeah. Good. Let's see if I need more on the upstairs. Though. All right. Yeah. Every house that we've lived at, right. it's always right. like, this is the space we have. Let's make it work. But now she's more like, no, let's make this space for what you want and not to just make it work. Yeah. You would enter the stairs here. Yeah. You'd have the hallway. Four bedrooms, three baths. Okay. This bedroom should be beautiful and feel spacious. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right? I was just thinking about the dollar signs, <laughs> just kind of mounting up, but you know, the main focus is just to make it functional for the family. Mm -hmm. What is your budget all in for this entire single family? 250. So the budget is 250,000. I'm gonna tell you right now, that's not enough money. And it's not as simple as just, hey, let, let me make it pretty. This is let me completely reconfigure your floor plans so you live better. Today, I'm gonna to meet with Kevin, who is the architect on the project, to talk through some of the changes that I discussed with Levy when I walked with him. Obviously, you know the house. Yep. I want to make sure that I fully understand mm -hmm. what's possible for them. So we're gonna use that pier mirror. Okay. It didn't feel like there was even a spot for it. No, because the closet was up yeah, there. Yeah, so it was like, Okay, how do I make something here where it's like this entrance that feels like a real vestibule? And I think we all came up with the idea that like the stairs just don't work where they are because right now we have the stairs here. Yep, closing Ish. off that window, I think. Right, but I think it's not allowing me to get them what they really want, which was the family room. Mm -hmm. So you walk into this beautiful entryway here. Nice formal entry. So stairs here. And then powder room, so the end of his study is here. Yep. But if I have this study wall, now I have a family room. I want to do bookshelves here. Okay. It's a Swipe functional off. living room now. Yes! And then I want to give him a banquet here. Yeah, it just opens everything up then. That whole side's wide open. They get the open feel they want. And a huge island. So you walk up to the second floor, and that used to be a separate unit. But to convert this into a single family home, we're gonna add four bedrooms, three full baths, laundry room, and a big closet for Levy and Nicole. You know, the good thing is that the changes I'm making are not going to affect the budget. It's just really resubmitting to the city and the time that they're gonna pay the architect to redo these plans. Hello? Hey, Ryan, it's Allison, Victoria. I'm dealing with a bit of a nightmare, and I hope that you can help me. I just left this job. It's in Oak Park. Whoever did the concrete for him before has completely screwed him. They're doing the underpinning. They left like three sections not poured, and there's no rebar in those three sections, but I would assume that there wouldn't be rebar in the other walls that are poured. No, it's awful. I would love any advice or recommendation. Sure, yeah, no, absolutely. Get somebody out there to scan the walls, figure out what we're dealing with, and see what we can do to remedy the situation. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. While we wait to get the concrete resolved and find out how much it's gonna cost, it's time to get working on the design. 
Are right, you ready to go shopping? Yeah. I know it's your favorite. Right? So today I'm meeting with Levy. Welcome to my playground. <laughs> wow, this is your playground? It means a lot. You don't have a mantle, by the way. I do not. Your family room, you have a fireplace, and we're putting the television over it. You remember that- box. Oh, don't look at the price. That's not 250. This one's even better, the price. 275, do you like that? Boom. Okay, better than 2,500. It is. Okay. What about that door? Damn. I was already looking at that door. You were? I was. That's a wow. Maybe the main door. Change your front door. Sure, why not? You're not questioning your lawyer, and you're not questioning your doctor. So don't question your designer. Please, give me that. A bookcase, right? Yeah, look at this. This would go on top of this. I love the mirrored backs because it opens the space up. Six seventy-five for the entire thing. Do you know how much Ari would charge if I hadn't built something from scratch? You'd be at like six, seven grand. Oh, really? Oh, God, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Sold. Great. Yeah. Junk. God, where's your wife? <laughs> right? You know, price is a big deal, and we need to make sure that we're kind of looking at things that are in his price points. Yes. Yes. That's what you say, yes. It's not good news. There'll be no easy task to go through and remove all of this concrete that's been poured. Report, it, reform it, bucket by bucket. Hello. How's it going? So we just finished scanning a bunch of the wall sections, and unfortunately, bad news, there's no rebar from what we can tell. I would almost 100% say they need rebar in the structure. I mean, it gives it the strength to hold the house up. I have no idea what, obviously, what this would even cost or what this looks like time-wise. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't really get any machines down here, so it's really all has to be done by hand. So now a couple things. We've got a contractor we're gonna talk with who does this type of work, get his opinion, then also go back and check with Oak Park, see if rebar is required in underpinning. So those are kind of the next steps. Things were not going where we wanted it to be, but now we've turned the corner and you know we're, we're back on track. Having the concrete done in the basement and having it inspected and passed by Oak Park has certainly decreased the amount of stress that I felt a couple of months ago. I guess at the end, it's gonna be worth it. Checking in on Levy. There's tons of progress. The main bath is really coming along with most of the tile installed. He's got all the pieces that we bought. So every single piece, like he needs to know exactly what we're doing. Hi. Hi. It's so smoky in here. Yeah. How are you? What are you doing? You're doing all of it yourself? Yep. Such a DIYer. Can I ask you about the front door? This style, yeah? This style's perfect. Okay. Yeah, you take an old door like this that's just intricate and, and just gorgeous. Black. And then you do a really clean handle with a new deadbolt. Okay. And that front door, your neighbors are gonna love you. Yeah. Do you love the cabinets? I love the cabinets. They're so beautiful and soft. Nicole loved the cabinets. Oh, thank she you for trusting me on it. Did not expect to walk in and see the kitchen cabinets assembled. Look at this. It's crazy. Crazy cool. Right? And that's why these pieces have to be black, because think about how stately that is. Wow, yeah. Right? It has been such a long 11 months on this East project, and Levy's been in there getting his hands dirty with his crew the entire time. All of his sweat equity is gonna definitely pay off, and we're just a couple of weeks away from finishing. Do you have any more black paint? I do. Okay, let's paint that wall. All the pieces from Reuse Depot are in. The built-ins behind the sectional look really good. It's just all coming together. 
We got Ari, I got Nelson, we got the hood going up. I thought this could be a really cool modern look for the hood and very linear and kind of bring the eye up and cost effective. It looks awesome. Levy's here. We are just gonna knock things out. It's hardware time. Ooh, look at that. That is like jewelry. That's like my bracelets. That's like my necklaces. This is the jewelry of your kitchen. This wow. is the real deal. Look at this. That goes there. Do not ever put them here. Always here. Always here. All right. Okay. Brass, clear. Yep. Yup. Beautiful. So I have the whole family here today. The kids are here, but I wanted to do something really special with them. So instead of doing my go-to stained glass, I thought let's have the kids do some glass painting. You know, now that we have this really special front door, yeah. then we have to make this window super special. He's gonna make the Philippine flag, he said. <gasps> you are? This is the creative freedom and juices I need to see, okay, kids? Who wants to start? Me. Okay, we got one ladder here. Good job, Good job. Good job. I've been looking forward to this day for a very long time. I get to do a lot of homes and I get to work with a lot of clients and none of them have pulled at my heartstrings like this job and like this family. I've never seen a husband or a father work so hard. That's the beauty of this one. And it's just turned out to be the best project I've ever done. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't peek. Yeah. It's Christmas. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. And look at your new house. Oh my God, whose house is this? This is so beautiful. <laughs> oh, look at that, oh my God. Look at this house. Look at the pyramid. This is, oh, that you had. Yeah, but do you remember? Yep. These stairs were supposed to be over there. I yep. know. And so by doing the stairs in this location, we give you more room over here, which you'll see. But like to have a real proper entryway. But look at your front sitting oh, room. Oh my gosh. And the light that comes I in know. when these are open. Right. Come on, look at this kitchen. That's yeah. so beautiful. This really does look like a million dollar kitchen. Yeah. Did it come out of a magazine? Look at your hood and how it pulls in the veining from this countertop. Oh my God, we didn't even talk about the countertop. And the gold pulls the gold back in from the hardware. We went all the way up with the backsplash. I can't believe this. I can't <laughs> believe this is my kitchen that I get to cook my crazy food here. <laughs> Are you ready to see your room? I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna close your eyes again. Keep them closed. Oh my gosh. Ready, ready Freddy. Boom. Goosebumps <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. Look at the space. Look at this. Your big closet for you. Beautiful, hon. Yeah. Like our bedroom right now, Levy worked so hard for the home we currently have also, but it's just a bed. Yeah, no more just a bed. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Oh my god. This ties everything together, Allison. Oh my gosh, oh. Han, this is the first time I am seeing this. No. Right? We can have a dance party. Yeah, <laughs> we can make a TikTok video here. You know what? Here. The kids can sleep in here. Daddy, come on. Is this I the am. biggest shower ever? Look at this tile. Yes. Uh-huh, you trusted this. For Levy to trust me, to trust the process, because I just watched this man go through hell and back. And when somebody messed with him, it was like you were messing with my brother. It's a massive hurdle. This is so beautiful, I'm gonna cry. Oh, this is so, I've never had anything this beautiful in my entire life.